All right, guys, welcome back. I got an email here from a guy, and I just want to kind of just illustrate how you can start off really well with women and just completely just go sideways, right? Just completely be lost and be like, damn, what happened? So let's get right into it. Hey, I need help in this relationship. I've been seeing this girl for about four months. She had high interest from the jump. I was running the show, leading and setting dates. She was the one after me. She texted me more and says she loves hanging out with me and that I take her breath away. Sounds good so far. This starts off really good, guys, okay? But this is the problem. A lot of women will test you. It'll be great. The most sudden, they don't call you. They don't hit you up. And men panic. Damn, I got to do something. This is the illusion of action, right? I got to do something. She forgot about me. Damn, how come she hasn't called me? What went wrong? This is why you got to be on your purpose, guys. And you got to have more women. This is just some random chick. You've been seeing her for four months. There's nothing in here that says you're in a relationship. So you're joking, you're playing. Unless she talks about exclusivity. Other than that, it's a free game, okay? So, and you'll see, she'll, you know, what happens is you're, you're operating under a scarcity mindset. She's pulling away. You don't know. She might have just got busy, things going on. Sometimes they test you. These are shit tests. And you go from there. I felt like she was my girlfriend, but we never had a conversation about it. There you go. Your feelings are irrelevant. What has been going on? Have you talked about anything here about uh, girlfriend, boyfriend? You let her talk about it. You sure as hell don't. Um, she hasn't brought nothing up. This is just friends with benefits. You get it in when you get it in. All right? If you feel like she's your girlfriend, she ain't your girlfriend. Women will have a talk. She'll, they'll say things like, well, hey, um, what are we? Or I want to know this is serious. Are we going somewhere? Are you just looking at me as a friend? They're going to give you all these other things. All right? So I'll leave that for another video. But... We went to an amusement park and had a great time. And she mentioned she was going on a girl's trip with her girlfriends the same weekend that I was going on a work trip for the for the week for the weekend. So I leave Friday and come back Monday night. She leaves that Thursday morning. I told her I wanted to see her before she left, which was about a week from the time she told me, and she said, We'll see. <laughs> Damn. Alright, so obviously her women didn't want to see before a trip. They definitely getting it in. Now, she and your girlfriend, because she should be asking, maybe, you know, can I go here or there or whatever? Guys, listen, um, I'm Spanish. In the Spanish community, we, we really don't play this. This girl's trip by themselves, this is how women end up cheating on you, right? You'll be raising, this is how you end up raising another man's child. And she'll act like, no, it was yours, right? So this is, this happens a lot. Paternity fraud is serious, so you got to be careful. But you got to know who you have. He just got this girl. He thinks he's in a relationship. And he's stressing, right? So this doesn't work. So she said, we'll see. I don't end up seeing her, and she says sorry that she didn't get a chance to see me. Yeah, I bet, bet she's sorry. A woman that's nuts and attracted to you is going to be all excited about seeing you. Yeah, baby, you come in. Yeah, I'll come tomorrow. Let's go out or come in. She's going to want to ride you into the sunset. Never mind that. All right? So I don't get, I end up seeing her, and she says sorry to her. She says she was in the middle of something and never called me back. So, so I guess she was on a trip. They were talking. She's like, hey, baby, let me call you back. I'm in the middle of something. All right, click. Never called them back. So you're not really that important. You know what I mean? She doesn't say when she's going to get back. I can't wait to see you. I want you know, I want to see you. Damn, it's too bad. Um, she doesn't call you excited. Nothing. So she posts pics of her girl's trip to social media and then sends me pictures through text. So social media is first before you. <laughs> so you're kind of panicking. I can tell right now you're panicking. Just be like, all right, honey, yeah. Well, I'll see you when you get back. I miss you, whatever. You know, if she was your girlfriend, you'd be like, I love you. I'll see you then, you know, whatever. But we'll talk then. She doesn't call when she gets back. So I call her. So I call her. She says she's sick and doesn't feel well. How convenient. She's back for a week before she leaves for the weekend. With her family, but I don't get to see her. <laughs> so, I mean, look at this. <laughs> going on a date. Then, she, then in a week, she's going on another date. <clears throat> for a whole week, you don't see her. So, what, how is she so sick? Guys, I've had the flu. You're down for like two days at most. And boom, you're back to it. Right? And not only that, but wouldn't she want to have the man she loves or she cares about, she's attracted to? Bring her some soup or hang out? Nothing. Help her bathe? Help her bathe? You know what I mean? Maybe it's just me. She says she misses me and that she'll call me when she gets back. She said that last time. She says she misses me and that she'll call me when she gets back. 
obviously she don't miss you because, right, she left without seeing you, came back, I'm sick, right, and then I'm out again. The responses back from her are less and less, and she takes forever to get back to me. Even when I call, she doesn't an an always answer. <sighs> At this point, it, it was 80-20, her initiating interactions, and now it's reversed. I find myself thinking about her more and more and reaching out to her. I call her before she gets back to hopefully get together, but all I get is the voicemail. All right, so you're reaching out. You're, you're over-pursuing. This is what's happening, all right? You're nervous. She's on trip. She don't hit you up. You don't say nothing. Hey, have a good trip. That's it. Don't text. Don't call. All right? So you get her voicemail. Nothing. Now, remember, she says she misses it right here. She says she misses me and that she'll call me when she gets back. Why are you calling her? Oh, she got back. Let me hit her up. This is a scarcity mindset. This is what men mess things up. You're over chasing too much. Am I saying you can't shoot a text or a phone call? No. But she just told you, I'll call you when I get back. She's on a trip. She don't call you. You're not important, right? So you're on a trip. She's on a trip. She gets back. She doesn't even call you. Then you call her. Oh, I'm sick. Then all week you don't get to see her. Yeah, she probably got another guy. She's probably knee deep in another guy right now. Come on, guys. So, so I know that she was supposed to get back in the morning around 8 to 9. So I call at 10 and leave a voicemail saying to give me a call because I want to see her but no response. I know she worked that day at 5. The next day, she texts sorry she couldn't get back to me. She was sleeping and had to rush to work, but asked, how have I been? So we exchanged text messages, and I asked to get together. But she said she has to work a lot, and she'll let me know. <laughs> Look, guys, this is crazy. So you're calling her. She don't pick up. She don't answer. You're demon a text. You're going back and forth. Eight, nine. She should be calling you. Hey, baby, I'm on my way. I'm almost there. You know, whatever it is. I'm going to be there. Hey, I just landed. I'm on my way home. Whatever it is. You're gonna, maybe you pick her up. Whatever. You call her at 10. She must have just got home. Don't tell me she just got there and she went right to sleep. Bags are packed. Usually they're texting or calling. Hey, I got home. They're telling people. Early in the morning. Probably getting something to eat. Let's say she was tired. She got in at 8, 9. I mean, you're looking at 7, 8 hours. You can't sleep. She, she's not going to sleep all day. She's going to sleep for a couple hours and then go to work. So, all right. I mean, you're still over pursuing. She had to work all day. Hey, she didn't call you till the next day. The next day she texts sorry. So all day. I guarantee you, you go to her job and you look out with binoculars. I don't know what she's doing. She's going to be on her phone at times. Everybody has their phone 24-7 on them. You don't use the bathroom without having your phone. You got to have your phone even for a quick two minutes. Right? So obviously you're not important and you're still over pursuing. You're still up her butt. So she's already getting like, ugh, like pulling back from you. It ain't working. Yeah, I get the idea that she's lying. Well, so we exchange text messages, and I asked to get together, but she says she has to work and a lot, work a lot, and she'll let me know. I get the idea that she's lying. She says that she has to unpack and has so much to do. So look at all the excuses, guys. When it's not a simple yes, it's a hard no. You shouldn't have done anything. When she goes on her trip, hey, hon, all right, I'll see you then. I can't, you know, can't wait to see you or have a good trip. Yeah, call them when you land. That's it. No, nothing else. Nothing more. A week goes by and nothing. I see her at the car wash and pull beside her. We talk and I tell her we should hang out on Saturday since I know she doesn't. She usually doesn't work Saturday. She says she might have to work and she'll let me know. I got upset, but I let it be. <laughs> That's a little bit creepy if you don't if you don't run into her. She might start thinking like, oh, is he following me or, you know, how does he know I was here? But you talk a little bit. A week passed by, nothing. She don't call you. It's a mess. And then, why did you get upset? Hey, how you been? What's going on? Oh, yeah. I've been busy. All right, then. I'll talk to you then. That's how you communicate. You get upset. Oh, she got to work. You keep asking her. You keep telling her, oh, I'll give you a call or I'll do this. Or she's like there. Everything's a mess here. This is like, <laughs> you're not following the process, all right? You're going out with her for a few months. Yeah, four months. And then in the beginning, it looked like you were doing everything great. You probably were busy handling your business. And then you, you start oh, panicking. I got to do something. She got another man. Guys, if she had another man or three guys, there's nothing you could do. If she, if she told you that, and she told you here, a week goes by and nothing. And then, you know, when you tell her, right, you know, you know she don't have to work Saturdays, 99% of the time. Oh, I'll let you know. She don't care. Okay, well, listen, uh, set up your schedule. Let me know when your schedule is free, and we'll set up a date. 
All right, well, let me get back to me when your schedule's free. Well, that's it. You're done. The next day, I told her it was nice to see you. I don't understand why she tells me. <laughs> the next day, I told her it was nice to see you. Why? You're still, I give it to you, you're still calling her. Stop calling. Stop pursuing. Stop. Don't do nothing. This is crazy. I don't understand why she tells me I take her breath away and that she loves hanging out with me and then treats me like crap. Well, when she told you that, that was four months ago, when you were acting like a man and you had balls, you don't have any now, okay? You're chasing her. How, did you land? How are you doing? Uh, hit me up. What are you doing? You're telling her, all right, I'll call, you know, call me, and then you don't even wait. So what you're doing is you're not even congruent with your words. You're messing up. Am I com coming along a little needy? <laughs> of course you are. I tried to give her a chance because I felt she had been really busy, but I think she's playing games. She's probably with somebody. Did I do something wrong? It's been over a month now. Should I go to her house? It's been over a month now. Yeah, you're done. That's it. Should I go to her house? No. Should I show, should I show up at work? Damn, really? No. Or should I just text or call her? What can I say to have her come back like she used to be? Guys, you don't say nothing. You don't do nothing. You don't call. You don't look at her social media page. You don't like anything. Nothing. No instant messenger. Nothing. You stop contact with this woman. She's obviously not into you. You drove her away. Okay. Now, if she calls you, hey, how you been? What's going on? Now, she blew you off. So now, we're not doing lavish dates and hanging out and all this other stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Why don't you come over? Yeah. We'll, we'll cook something. Or I'll get a pizza. Netflix and chill. You say something like that, so she knows, oh, he want to he wanna smash, right? And you get a, you're getting something basic, a pizza, no wings, no garlic bread, no extra stuff with the juice, with the, with the hood juice, with the Kool-Aid from the fridge. That's what you get, right? You're not going lavish. Guys, she dogged you. She, I mean, you drove her away, but she's treating you pretty much like a second-rate citizen. You're not going to take her out. You're not going to pick her up and open doors and pull out chairs. You ain't doing none of this. Be like, hey, don't you want to go out? Uh, oh, you inviting me out? Oh, you're, hey, as long as you're treating, that's fine by me. Right? You joke around with her like that. And she'll be like, oh, no, no, I was just saying, you know, just wondering, you know. Now you tell her, hey, I just feel like staying in, you know, whatever. She goes, all right. More than likely, she'll say, all right, yeah, I'll be right over. What kind of wine you want? Right? All right, great. Clap the cheeks, great. Keep it moving. Now she's going to come over a few times before you take her out. And that's the game. She coming over for cheek clapping. We're not having a whole lot of dialogue. We'll talk a little bit, have a drink. In session, right? She punched that clock, and she going to work, okay? She going to work, that's it, because she dogged you. After a few things are good, you stay acting like a man, though. Stop pursuing, stop chasing. And then when she calls you, same thing. Now, after a few times, you guys can go back out again and have a good old time. If she doesn't, let's say she goes, all right, oh, listen, I'll give you a call then, you know. And a lot of women, what they'll do is they'll test you in a certain way. So you'll tell her, oh, give me a call in a couple of weeks, right? Something like that. Oh, hold on a couple of weeks. And uh, maybe we'll do something else. We'll go out then or something, you know. So she'll be like, oh, okay. What they'll do is they'll call you like three or four days later. This happens all the time. What they're doing is just testing you to see where you're at. Hey, what's up? I was wondering you could go out, this and this. Oh, listen, honey, I'm just recovering from something. Or listen, I just don't feel too well. Why don't we just stay in? Why don't you come over? This and this. Oh, no, I was just wondering if you were up to something. Oh, yeah. And she'll make something up. I want to go out with friends, all this BS, whatever. Oh, no, I just don't feel up to it. You know, if you want, you can come over, hang out, bring me a little bit of soup or something, you know. I think I'm, rec I think I'm getting over something, you know. I'm feeling a little better, but I don't want to push it, right? Oh, come on. You could go out for a little bit at least, you know. Nah, I'm good. A lot of times, though, she'll have friends. She'll want you to go out. It'll be like a double date thing. Well, I don't want to do that. Not going to happen nothing like that. Even if she comes over and we get it in, you don't chase. You don't call at all. Nothing happens. Then she comes back a couple of times. Then we'll start going out again, chilling. If not, then you just keep it moving, guys. Because obviously this woman's yeah, as long as, as long as you're a convenience, right, she's good. You know how many women go out? They did a study, guys. They realized one in four women go out with a man just for food calls. Right? They call them foodie dates. Then they did the same study again. They realize it's one in three women. So you have a 33% chance that this woman just want to go out with you just to get some food. No romantic interest. Don't want to do nothing. But you got to make sure your game is tight. And right now, I don't see it at all. Okay? So she comes over. You don't pursue. Clap cheeks. We do it a couple of times. And then you can start taking her out again and having fun. But you don't call her. All the stuff you've been doing. Hey, call me. Leaving voicemails. You don't do none of that. You leave it to be.
All right. All right, guys.